Not too long ago, it felt good to withdraw your cash from the bank, didn't it? For a vacation or a new car. But today, withdrawing your own cash has become risky. Pat Boone here for Swiss America. According to The Secret War, a new Swiss America white paper, I learned that all banks are now required to spy on you and me for the government and then report any financial behavior deemed suspicious or unusual. You must read The Secret War. It's free. Truth is, I believe the government's new war against cash is really a war against us all. But The Secret is now out. So please, get and read The Secret War. Pick up your phone and call right now. 800-932-5517. 800-932-5517. Once again, that's 800-932-5517. Welcome aboard Elevated with Marsha Hawkins, Sports Byline Broadcast Network. Another week and away we go. Yeah, here we are at the Sunrise Studios again, uh, getting ready for a great weekend. Very excited. I noticed a little shift in the weather today. Uh, Normally it's pretty hot and humid. Uh, As we round into uh, fall, the end of summer in New England, we tend to have, you know, colder mornings and colder nights. And we definitely felt that today. So, yeah. Football season, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that uh, in the show. And, yeah, we got a great show on tap. Sneak peek of a couple things we want to talk about today. Interesting, I think in the first segment you got a really good storyline here. I'm really looking forward to this. Yeah, we're, we're talking about a lot of things, but we're talking about change, yeah. you know. And, uh, yeah, I, I actually was talking with you about this a little earlier mm. and how change is so hard for people. So I'm kind of excited about that because I do believe that – um, there's kind of a, a link into wanting change and actually being able to change and why people uh, have a hard time doing it. So, but you're yeah. going to equate a story. I mean, you're going to tell a story about this. and It's going to be applicable, I think, for a lot of people. Yeah, that that's one story I do want to talk about. But yeah, uh, but I do believe that uh, a common denominator with a lot of people is that they want change. Uh, but there's one missing link that I think that they're kind of leaving out to the thought process. So we're going to talk about that. So we got, we're going to talk about that in the first segment, and then we're going to segue into how that applies to your business. And then the third um, portion of it, we're really going to talk about the importance of podcasting. I love podcasting, and I want to really delve into how it can help you. All right. We look forward to that. Again, University of Connecticut, no go for football. Some other schools could follow suit. Big Ten, their schedule is out. Ten-game season there. And a shout out to San Francisco and Harding Park, a public golf course hosting the PGA Championship. And if you're listening on Monday, it's in the bag and we'll see how Tiger and others did. So it is Elevating with Marsha Hawkins here from ElevatedMediaESQ.com, a boutique agency of the highest order. They do phenomenal work. You can log on to ElevatedMediaESQ.com. And we are presented by Marsha Hawkins, Elevating with Marsha Hawkins, by MyHealth-Coach.com for health and life insurance, professional service. You'll do an outstanding job. MyHealth-Coach.com. She's Marsha Hawkins. We get it started on the other side right here on the Weekend Edition on the Sports Byline Broadcast Network. Between jobs, retiring, or just need health or life insurance, please visit MyHealth-Quotes.com or call 833-687-5261. Before you try to get a quote online, call us. We will provide you with the information most sites will not. We teach you exactly what life or health insurance plan you qualify for, how to use your plan, and maximize your benefits. We provide you with the information to make a knowledge-based decision to ensure selecting the right plan. MyHealth-Quotes.com to schedule an appointment. Tired of the same old hat? CoverageGear.com is the top destination to find the hats and gear you need to represent your favorite pro teams and players. Head to CoverageGear.com with the promo code radio and grab a cap with the iconic jersey number of the all-time greats and current stars from the NBA, NFL, MLB, and more. These classic hats come in the font and style of the superstars team. So with the number 30 from Golden State, number 2 from the Yankees, 
number 23 from the Bulls, or at number 12 from the Packers, CoverageGear.com will help you honor the legends of yesterday and today. Check out our collection of dad hats, trucker caps, beanies, stickers, and more. Use promo code RADIO and get 20% off. That's promo code RADIO at CoverageGear.com. CoverageGear.com. We've got you covered. O'Reilly Auto Parts has everything you need for your summer car maintenance at great prices. Our professional parts people can help you find the best oil change supplies for your car. Like five quarts of Valvoline conventional motor oil and microguard filter, everyday low price, $26.99. For your summer oil change, stop by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. If you owe the IRS back taxes, don't worry. There's a bright side. The experts at brightsidetaxrelief.com will protect you from having your wages garnished, money deducted from your bank account, and your home or business seized. Brightsidetaxrelief.com will fight the IRS and negotiate to reduce or eliminate the amount you owe. Visit brightsidetaxrelief.com or call 800-730-4313. That's 800-730-4313. The consultation is free. Go to brightsidetaxrelief.com yeah, now. Buying some pretzel sticks? Excuse me? This is your wake-up call from Truck Phone Wireless. Okay. What if you didn't eat all those pretzel sticks by the end of the month, so this store took them back? Uh, good luck. That's how some wireless companies are with your data, but Track Phone Wireless gives you unlimited carryover data with active service, so you keep what you pay for. Hmm. Plans start at $20 a month. Wow, that's cool. Uh, sir, are you bothering the customers? Yeah, hang on. This is your wake-up call, people. Track Phone Wireless. Now you're in control. See terms and conditions at trackphone.com. Welcome back. It's Elevating with Marshall Hawkins Sports Byline Broadcast Network, Sirius XM 211, the Dan Patrick uh, channel. And away we go. American Forces Radio Network as well. And 24-7 archived at iHeartRadio.com. Lots to get to. Where do you want to start? Uh, just about change. I talked about it in the opening segment of the program. It's really hard for people. Um, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, I talked about it in previous shows about whether it's an addiction, a habit. Um, but one thing that I, I, I really think is the missing link for a lot of people is that people who um, are, you know, constantly doing things the same way, you know, we talked about it, I think last week, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. It's really hard for people to change. But what I find fascinating is that a lot of people, uh, they, they want change, but what they really want is external change. They don't necessarily want to be the one to change. Mm. They want things in their environment or the people that are in their environment to change. It's really, you, you kind of see this, and I, I hate to even broach the topic of politics, but you see it in politics all the time. Um, people will get on to the social media and they'll start hammering away at people about, you know, their political uh, beliefs and what they they believe to be correct. And it, it they, they talk more to talk more than to actually listen to what the other person is saying. You know, they kind of, I, I feel, you know, you're either on one side or the other. There are some people who are middle of the road. Um, but for the most part, uh, people want change, but what they're not recognizing is that they, they want people to change. You, you see that in marriages, you see that in relationships, you see that in employer-employee relationships. They're, they want things to change, but they want the other person to, to change, and they want the other person to initiate the changes in the relationship. And that's where I think a lot of people get very uh, tied up um, and, and, and frustrated in the way the direction of their life and how it's actually playing out. Uh, you know, you can look at someone, uh, I'm, I'm just going to use this as an example. Um, you know, somebody who wants to lose weight, uh, you know, uh, what most people don't realize is that you'll have people that will you know, work out, you know, incessantly, um, thinking that if they just, you know, if they overeat, they can just, you know, work out, run 10 miles. And, you know, exercise is really about 11 to 13% of, of how you get your weight off. I mean, mm-hmm. obviously if you build muscle, muscle burns more fat. So you have that ability to, uh, you know, to, you know, have that caloric, uh, burn, but at the same time, you know, if you're constantly taking in more than 3,500 calories, 
uh, over time, you will gain weight no matter what. So it's, it's important. Um, and I talk about this on every single program is about having the balance in your life. But there are a lot of people, uh, whether it's, you know, trying to quit drinking, uh, trying to quit smoking, trying to lose weight. A lot of times what they're not recognizing is that they are the ones that are unwilling to make the change. Uh, you'll see people go to the doctors all the time and say, you know, I think it was like maybe 10 years ago, they, they had a lot of weight loss drugs out there. I'm not sure because I have not researched that. I probably should have before I talked about it. But, you know, years, about 10 years ago, I think there was a lot of, and I know there still are, uh, weight loss drugs. I don't see them being advertised as much as possible. I do believe some of them were pulled off the market. Uh, by the FDA, but you know, a lot of people, um, th that's the change they were looking for. Oh, there's a pill for that. Mm. <laughs> Give it to me. Yeah. I want to take that pill and lose weight. So I, I just, I think if you're, you know, especially as we get into fall change of seasons is always the time people want to reestablish their goals. You see health clubs, um, explode, maybe not so much now because of COVID, but they will explode in September and they explode in January. Why? Because that seems to be around the time where people really want to get into shape. They mm -hmm. want to get the weight off. They want to get, you know, condition, get their bodies conditioned. And that's what, what they'll do. They'll join a health club. And then, you know, I think they, I think they say usually by the 45th day, a lot of them, you know, will drop out. So if you're, you know, redrafting your goals, whether it's personal, uh, weight loss, quitting drinking, smoking, uh, bad habit, maybe you want to uh, stop watching TV, maybe you want to read more, whatever it is, uh, you, you really understand that the change that you're looking for in your life really has to come from you. Most people are just so um, incessant about, you know, the way that they're doing things and they they want change and they talk about it. They'll say, oh, if my, only my wife or husband did not do that. Um, you know, my life would be a lot better if they could just stop that habit. But I, I think we all really kind of need to look inside. We we have to be the change that we want to see within ourselves. So how, do you go, a, how do you go about doing that? Um, I'm huge into meditation. I believe, you know, meditation, writing your goals down um, and recognizing that you are. I think that it really goes back to being able to recognize the fact that you are looking for change in other people. Uh, to, to make your life better when the reality of it is you, you have to take responsibility for whatever it is, whether it's losing weight, quitting smoking, mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, not drinking as much, reading more, not watching as much TV, going for a while, whatever, whatever it is that you're trying to change in your life. You know, if you find yourself looking at external factors or external things in your environment or the people involved in your life or your relationships, you know, people, how many people do you know? that have worked a job for how many years that they absolutely do not like, they do not enjoy what they do, but they, in their mind, think, you know, if the job was better, I would like it. When the reality of it is, it's probably not something they enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I really, it goes, it goes back to personal responsibility. It really comes down to that. Taking the initiative to find out, you know, the changes that you want to see in your life and how you're going to enact them and take action to do it. It's really, it sounds simple uh, but it's not for most people. Change is very, very hard. And I, the flip side of that is people don't like change. Uh, it's it's funny when uh, a company, you know, I, I think it was IHOP maybe that was going to change the, the logo. And it was just a publicity stunt and people were freaking out about it. People, when they change, go on to Facebook, when they change the, the, the look of Facebook, people will be on there saying, oh, just go back to the old one. I don't like this. People... They, they love, they're creatures of habit. They love the comforts of knowing what to expect. It's mm. like when people go on vacation, some people don't like to travel because of that. They have to constantly relearn, um, you know, where, you know, you know, to get their bearings and assimilate into their new environment. A lot of people have trouble with that. So the moral of all of it is that if you're really looking to initiate change within yourself, within your relationship, within your family, within your finances, with anything, please start with yourself. Because usually if you can identify why you're struggling to make those changes in your life uh, and make it up to you, you're probably going to have the most success. If we had the power to change other people, I would be retired and I would probably be yeah. in Bali somewhere. Yeah. We don't have that. Pay you know, we're not that powerful. We're just not. The only power we power we really have is really over ourselves. People seem to miss that all the time. Mm, that's interesting. So if you and we only got a couple of minutes in the segment, so I'll go briefly. I'm trying to think of the question I come up with. But OK, so if you recognize that you can't change the people around you, you got to work internally. You mentioned meditation. What else? 
Um, I, I really believe that when your body's in balance and you feel well and, you know, you're not relying on a lot of artificial stimulants to, um, and, and I think there's some, there's some good, um, in maybe if you relax with a glass of wine at the end of the day or whatever it happens to be that you, I, I'm not here to, you know, to get on my soapbox that yeah. all things are bad for you. That's not where I'm going with it. But I think we all need to find our own personal way that, uh, we, de-stress. I talked last week about, you know, setting the tone for the day in the first five to 15 minutes of the morning. Um, but it, it really comes down to, you know, organization of yourself and, and being able to understand what it is you're trying to change and, and what you have to do in order to accomplish that. Unfortunately, I see it all the time. People are much more likely to look at other people. I, I you, you th- think about a conversation, you know, next time you're having a conversation with someone, if you're happen to be talking about something like something that they want to change in their life, really listen to, to what they're saying. And you will, you will hear a common denominator of, well, if only it was like this, or if somebody did this, or only if they, I, I I'm very shocked at how often I hear that. Mm-hmm. I I've noticed it more lately um, and I, I've been very tuned into that. Hmm. All right. MyHealth-Quotes.com. As we head to break, life insurance, health insurance, people need to take a look at it. A lot of people are upside down or, you know, we only got a few seconds, but MyHealth-Quotes.com. Yeah. For life and health insurance, we are going into open enrollment. We're going to do a segment on how to prepare for open enrollment, what to do if you lose your insurance, and uh, some of the pertinent information you need to know. Uh, deadlines, uh, so to speak, with um, the healthcare.gov or the exchange rates and, and how you're able to tap into those policies if you do lose your coverage. All right. And we're also presented by Elevated Media, ESQ.com, a boutique agency serving national, local, even international clients. Go to Elevated Media, ESQ.com. We roll along on the weekend edition. It's Elevating with Marsha Hawkins right here on the Sports Byline Broadcast Network, Sirius XM 211, the Dan Patrick Channel Show. Have you written a book? You can become a published author with Dorrance Publishing, the nation's oldest publishing services company. Countless authors have trusted Dorrance for nearly a 100 years to bring their book to the market. Our professional team will edit your text, design your book pages, and create an appealing, eye-catching custom cover. Plus, our authors benefit from a custom book promotion marketing campaign that makes your book available where people buy books, like Amazon and -and brick-and-mortar bookstores. So make this free call right now to claim your your free author's guide to publishing. Don't wait another day. Take one step closer to realizing your dream of becoming a published author and seeing your name in print. You've already written a book, so the next thing to do is make this free call right now to Dorn's Publishing and get your free guide to publishing. Call right now. 800-485-6003. 800-485-6003. That's 800-485-6003. I'm going to tell you how you can get real health care for as little as $6 a day. Yes, now you can get affordable health care for you and your family immediately and save as much as 50% off your current monthly health care payments. Our plans are perfect for people that are self-employed, can't afford health benefits where they work, or just want to pay less for their current health care. And coverage is guaranteed regardless of your medical condition. We even offer some of the new Christian faith-based health benefits. Save up to 50% on your family's health care. Make a free quick call now. There are no contracts and we give you a 10-day money-back trial period. Call Provision Enrollment right now for your risk-free guaranteed health insurance quote starting at $6 a day. 800-472-5145. 800-472-5145. That's 800-472-5145. If you or a loved one is suffering from a physical or emotional condition that has left you unable to work, then listen carefully. Take this number down, 800-593-7491. That's 800-593-7491. 
When you call, you'll speak with a Social Security disability expert and get a free evaluation to see if you may qualify for disability insurance benefits from the U.S. government. That's right, a monthly cash payment paid directly to you from the Social Security Administration. Whether you're applying for the first time or you've already been denied disability benefits, call now. The disability attorneys at Pinnacle Disability can help you build your case, file an appeal, and represent you at no upfront cost to you. Don't wait another minute to see if you may qualify for your Social Security disability benefits. Call Pinnacle Disability Group at 800-593-7491 for your free case evaluation. That's 800-593-7491. 800-593-7491. Call now. All right, welcome back. It's Elevating with Marsha Hawkins, Sports Byline Broadcast Network, presented by MyHealth-Coach.com. All right, you talked about change. And some people are not wanting change. You're trying to change the universe or people around them. Where do you want to go now? I want to talk about, you know, people who are pretty happy with their lives. Um, seemingly everything's going along wonderful, great. They don't really have a worry in the world, so to speak. That's not probably not realistic. Most people have challenges in their life. But um, I want to talk about how some people never have that fulfillment, that that satisfaction um, uh, with their life. I'm sure you can relate to people that you may know or people that you've heard of who are, I think we talked about it earlier about, you know, constantly chasing the wind mm-hmm. and how never feeling, you know, satiated within their life and how they, you know, I'll give you an example. So someone goes out and they buy the latest and greatest model of the, of the car that they, you know, dreamed about buying. They get the car and then boom, the newer models come out and they look at the newer model and go, oh, you know, no, it's, my car's not good enough. You know, I need that car. I need the newer model. You, you see that a lot in society. I think we have been programmed to kind of compare ourselves to everybody else. I, I, I personally am a very happy person within my four by four. I talk about the four by four a lot mm-hmm. on this program. And about how I've always felt that if you could really make your four by four, I mean, in your home, whether mm-hmm. it's an apartment, you know, a condo, a house, whatever it is. And, 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 and that's applicable to your business as well, especially if you work outside of the home. But making that four by four the best it can be and not focusing on, you know, what others have or what whatever you perceive others to have, which I think sometimes is the case. But really being content, very satisfied uh, within within your life. Uh, but I, I find that there's a lot of people who aren't. So a couple of examples I can give you. There is a uh, there was a local businessman who was by all standards extremely extremely successful. Um, if I named the company, it is a household name. Most people would know the name of the company. Mm-hmm. Very 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 successful man. Uh, my husband happened to uh, do some work for him, um, you know, within um, his business and, you know, didn't really get to know him because he dealt he dealt with, you know, his handlers, if you will. But, um, you know, knew a lot of people that had worked for him over the years and stuff. Very nice guy, uh, you know, huge success story. And, you know, really, you'd have to give him a lot of credit for that. He, he built something that, you know, most people can't even, um, you know, even ascertain that they would be able to reach that level of success. But what I found interesting was, was that, um, there was a facet of his life that I was, I was, you know, really intrigued by. And that was, it, it felt like he was never quite satisfied with everything. It always felt like, um, just not, not only materialistic things that, that he acquired, but it felt like everything was just extremely way over the top. Hmm. And it was just just stuff that most people would never, ever be able to even fathom being able to uh, enjoy or buy or entertain or whatever. But um, but over the years, I had heard, uh, you know, stories and stories and stories about this over the top story or this over the top purchase. And, you know, and I I just it it wasn't a um, it, it wasn't a matter of judgment or jealousy or anything. But but I because of the way I think. I kept thinking, I, I wonder if they're really a happy person, if they're if they're satisfied, like if all that acquirement of materialistic things, whether or not they were a happy person. I always wondered about that. Mm-hmm. So on one particular occasion, 
um, my husband happened to do some work there and, uh, you know, he had relayed a story to me. And the moral of the story was he, he did not feel like this person was a very satisfied person with their, with their life. Like it, like it just constantly felt like something was missing. One story that was related to me was how he had uh, built a, a wall and spent all this money to build this wall within his business. And he, he didn't like the look of the wall and then just said, yeah, you know what, just tear it all down. You know, and it was, it was a pretty expensive wall and, and he, he tore the wall down and so over the years, I had just, I, I had come to realize uh, my son, who was in the army, he was stationed in the old guard, actually was able to participate in President Reagan's uh, funeral. Actually, I flew down there and watched the whole thing. It was really quite an honor. And um, I, the local newspaper had done an article on him. So I had gone into a frame shop to have the article framed. Mm. And somehow this business person's name came up. And um, I had just mentioned, you know, he kept going on and on about just the gobs and gobs of money that this man had. And I just sat there for a minute and I, I looked at him. I said, do you, th- do you think he's happy? Do you think he's a happy person? And his coworker, his employee actually, spun around and she said, no, actually, I don't think he is because he comes in here and complains about how unhappy he is all the time. Mm-hmm. And uh, But I think the, the frame shop owner was really trying to impress me with the fact that he had worked for this man. He's a local, lo- local celebrity. And I, I just said, you know, I, I would not trade any of that in for anything, to, you know, to trade – you know, complete contentment within my life for, for that. Mm. And I, I know some people would find that really hard to believe, but I am totally sincere in that. If he had attained that level of wealth and, and was completely happy with his life and completely, and I mean complete contentment with his life, then yes, it would be something to be admired. But I just instinctively knew, I, I just knew that, you know, from what I had um, from what I had witnessed myself, that perhaps that might not be the case. So long story short, I was mm. driving down the road one day, and I'm a huge fan of Eckhart Tolle, who talks a lot about living in the moment. I'm a firm believer. And, you know, and I'm going to talk further about decade living in the last segment of the program. Mm-hmm. But I I feel like, you know, I always say on the show, I'm in the minute to win it. I, I say it all the time to people. You know, I, I the, the day in front of me is, is, is all that I care about. Not to say that I don't plan. I do. I'm a planner. You know I'm a planner. Mm. But I, I do feel that we all just, you know, we, we pine about the past. We, we, we worry about the future. And we fail to live in the day that we're in. So I, I just wish people could do that. So my husband had been working up there and, and my husband had come home and had talked about just the excessive waste and, and whatever. And I, I just said, you know, do you think he's happy? And, you know, I said, I, I was listening to Eckhart Tolle in my car today. I know exactly where I was. Um, I was right by the university of Massachusetts and I wanted to go back to the store that I bought the, the, uh, the audio from it was pre download and I wanted to send it to him. And I just wanted to send it to him. And, and, and I remember thinking at the time, you know, I wanted to put a note in, you know, like, I, I would love for you to listen to this. If you're truly happy with your life, it's wonderful. And he, Eckhart Tolle in this particular segment talks about how um, there's a beggar sitting on a box and someone goes by and he asks for some spare change. And the man says, no, I don't have any spare change for you, but have, you know, what's in your box? And he said, I don't know. I've never looked in my box. And Hmm. the beggar gets off the box and looks in the box and it's filled with gold. The moral being that most of the time, the very thing we need or want or that would make us happy, we're probably is right at our feet. Mm. There's a wonderful book out um, called The Alchemist that is like my Bible. I, I've probably read it a hundred times. It's an it, excellent read and it really relates to that a lot. So I came home and I told my husband how I wanted to anonymously mail it to him and just say, you know write him a note and just say, you know, if you're truly happy, it's something to be admired. But if you're not, you know, it, it, you can, you can be happy, you know, that this is, this, this can happen. You know, I mean, you don't, mm. materialistic things are not what's going to make you happy. It, it's, it's, it's an inside job. And so, but I had said to my husband at dinner that night, I said, you know, my fear is that he'll have something catastrophic happen to him medically and he'll never realize just how happy he was at the time. And so, Yeah. And sure enough, uh, within a week, a major medical event happened. I never did get the opportunity to uh, mail it to him. And I kicked myself. I wished I had. And yeah. 
and it just goes to show you, you know, you, you, you don't know, um, you don't know how happy you are until some of your, uh, things that we take for granted on a daily basis, being able to go for a walk, being able to breathe, being able to eat food, Mm -hmm. take a drink, um, you know, jump on a trampoline, wh- whatever it happens to be that you can do, whether it's physically, whether it's speaking, whatever. Um, yeah, I, I, I do worry that we take a lot of our, um, our abilities for granted sometimes. And, uh, yeah, so it's a great story. And I'll tell you what, you made a great point at the beginning too, about the latest is the greatest. And there's companies that make a lot of money doing that. Apple introduces a new iPhone every year and people have to get the latest and greatest and their sales spike. NFL teams, NBA teams, Major League Baseball teams change their uniforms, have Sunday jerseys. What do people do? Go out and buy it. Yeah, change change it, does drive revenue. It, I, I get all that. Yeah. I, I do get that. But yeah, um, yeah, it's just, it's kind of, kind of, kind of funny. But yeah, there are people that have to have the latest and greatest. True. And they'll say, oh yeah, as soon as a new iPhone comes out, I've got to go grab it. I, I get it. I do get it to a certain extent. However, um, it's, it's just, uh, you, you got to be really content, you know, in, in here from your neck up, if you're content there, the rest is, the rest is, it falls into place. And the minute they get the phone home, it's a phone is what it, it boils down to. We come back. We are presented by my health dash quotes.com, my health dash quotes.com life and health insurance. Also by elevated media, ESQ.com, an outstanding boutique agency. They'll take very good care of you, whether it's podcasting, whether it's, uh, you know, the full realm of your marketing, Elevated Media, ESQ.com. When we come back, big, long segment, it's the weekend edition. And then later on in the program, the two-minute drill, the final two minutes of the program, you'll hear uh, Marsh's thoughts for the week. So we come back on the Sports Byline Broadcast Network, Sirius XM 211. It's the Dan Patrick Show channel. Between jobs, retiring, or just need health or life insurance, please visit myhealth-quotes.com or call 833-687-5261. Before you try to get a quote online, call us. We will provide you with the information most sites will not. We teach you exactly what life or health insurance plan you qualify for, how to use your plan, and maximize your benefits. We provide you with the information to make a knowledge-based decision to ensure selecting the right plan. Myhealth-quotes.com to schedule an appointment. We saved big money with our progressive home and auto bundle and used the cash to take a family vacation. To Hawaii. Who's up for a luau? Yay! This is not a real testimonial. Sure, customers can save big money with Progressive, but not enough to go to Hawaii. They'll probably use it for things like the mortgage and groceries, or even a travel magazine, so at least they can see pictures of Hawaii. Aloha! <laughs> yes, say hello to those beautiful Hawaiian beaches in that magazine. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. I'm pretty handy around the house, but now that I have kids, I don't want to spend my Saturday installing a toilet or fixing an air conditioner. But thankfully, there's HomeAdvisor. HomeAdvisor helps me find the best home pros in my area to handle any kind of project. You can read reviews of the pros, check their availability, and even book appointments online. And what my wife loves most is that HomeAdvisor is completely free to use. Go to HomeAdvisor.com or download the free app to get started. HomeAdvisor. Rusty Wallace here for Blue Emu Maximum Pain Relief. This pain cream is the official pain cream of NASCAR for a reason. It works fast and you won't stink. There's no messy, greasy, nasty feel or any stinging or burning here. This is pure pain relief. Don't run your engine on Octane 89. Get the good stuff and meet me in Victory Lane. Blue Emu works fast and you won't stink. Blue Emu Maximum Pain Relief, the official pain relief cream of NASCAR. Are you 60 plus and love to travel? Introducing the Senior Travel Discount Network, brought to you by Low Cost Airlines. Call us anytime, day or night, and save up to 75% on your airline and hotel reservations. We can help you save a ton of money to fly almost anywhere. We have inside discounts on over 500 airlines and 500,000 hotels worldwide. And when you call and mention the discount code 60 plus, we'll give you an extra free night with your qualified air and hotel reservation. Now you can get 
the best prices on air and hotel reservations with your phone. We make it easy and fast for you to save money and book a trip. Remember, call the Senior Travel Discount Network. Mention the discount code 60 plus for your free hotel night with your qualified reservation. Call now. 800-493-6118. 800-493-6118. That's 800-493-6118. Welcome back. It is Elevating with Marsha Hawkins, Sports Byline Broadcast Network, American Forces Radio Network, Sirius XM 211. The decade? Sorry, let's hear about this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The decade living, yeah. Well, it, it kind of goes back to the previous segment when we were talking about, you know, being in the minute to win it. You know, one thing I've noticed is that, that uh, people, you know, tend to talk about, you know, when, when you're, think about back when you were like a teenager and you couldn't wait to be older. And then you get, you know, you get into your twenties and you, you know, I know for me when I was in my twenties, I couldn't wait to be 30 mm-hmm. so that I, I, I felt like I, I would be respected uh, in terms of business. When you're kind of in your twenties, I think people don't take you seriously. And it was around that time that I recognized that why would I want to wish my life away? Why, why can't I just enjoy the decade that I'm in? And I, I, I see it a lot. I mean, you, you go on to Instagram or go on to Facebook, you are bombarded with anti-aging, uh, you know, exercise stuff, which I, I think is all great. I, I, I'm not, not, you know, I'm not, um, saying it's not a good thing, but there's so many people that I think are constantly looking in the rear view mirror at what could have been and looking forward to what they hope the future will, will be. And yet, the the days just have you ever think about this have you ever gone through a week and then thought how, where, where did this week go mm-hmm. you know for yeah. me it's because i i run a hundred miles an hour i have so many things mm-hmm. i'm so busy which i i'm happy for i'm i'm elated about that i love my life but at the same time i look and it's just like friday like like this week has just completely flown by for me but I just wonder sometimes if if we could kind of slow our mind down and, and kind of recognize. Now, for me, um, you know, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed my teenage years. My my when I was twenty, I had my children in my twenties. I it loved being a, a stay at home mom, taking care of my children. Um, I was a homeowner in my twenties. I you know, my husband and I traveled a lot. We always said we would go on, we would go on these vacations, and I remember one in particular. We were in Costa Rica. It was probably 117 degrees and we were at this resort and we loved to go into the little villages and, and meet local people and learn about their culture. And, and I've, I've got a story, but I'll, I'll save it for another show. And so we were in Costa Rica and we rec- we looked around one time at the pool because that's about all you could do. It was so hot. And we looked and we were probably like the only ones that were under like 70 and we realized I, I'm not, you know, I, this is not, I'm not, you know, aging anybody here um, in terms of like saying 70s bad to travel. And it's not where I'm going with this. But we, we recognized that we wanted to travel a lot while we were young. So we would, we did, we traveled a lot. I think I've been to every, every Caribbean Island. Um, and, and we just, we wanted to enjoy it while we were younger. Um, mm. we met a, a young, um, not a young man. He was an older man from Chicago. Um, and his wife was in the early stages of Alzheimer's and, you know, you could just see that he really struggled, but he wanted to take her on a nice vacation and, you know, between, you know, the wheelchair and, you know, we had taken, they had invited us, invited us to go out to dinner one night and we gladly accepted because they were interesting people and they were wonderful people. Dan, the painter, I still remember him. And yeah, and, and, and it was funny. It was like he had read our mind one night. He said, you know, make sure that you guys travel because when you get to be our age and you start getting health issues, you know, mm-hmm. so we do, my husband and I love to travel. And, uh, so it, it goes back to what I said, it's decade living, you know, when you're in the decade that you're in, you know, map out what you want from that decade. You know, you can't go back and fix in everything. And you should look at almost all the mistakes that you made and all the good things that happened as your footprint moving forward. You know, you don't want to do that again. And you definitely want to do that again. So, you know, pick and choose, you know, you can learn from your mistakes. And of course, when things go right, you want to build on that. You want to, you know, you want to build off that deck. 
but a lot of people, um, I, I really feel like they, they wake up, I, I, they wake up and all of a sudden they're 60 years old, 70 years old, or, you know, even 40 years old. And they, they, they don't really, you know, they, they, they just, they, they regret, they, they look back, they, they, they get upset with the way their life went or whatever. So, or they wish that they were, you know, 20 again and, and not 40. Well, so. yeah, it reverts. I mean, you're young, you want to be older, then you get older, you want to be younger. And right. you end up being a, uh, well, it's a Yiddish term, you end up being a sugar. You really get confused and you're messed up and a lot of issues crop up. Right. So it's just, it, it, whatever decade you're in, look at the finer points of that decade. You know, there's times where I appreciate my age because, you know, I just, I think I have a lot of life experience that I can draw from. Mm -hmm. When you're in your 20s, you don't have a lot of life experience. So you tend to make mistakes or you tend to not recognize, uh, you know, you know, things that maybe you should have made a better choice on. So yeah, it's, it's just appreciating the decade that you're in. There's a, a, a woman that I follow on Instagram. I'm not going to get into who she is. She is famous, but I, I can read in her Instagram page. You, you can definitely see that there's a lot of regret there. Uh, a lot of, she didn't enjoy her youth. She's a very beautiful woman and she's still a beautiful woman, but in her, in her youth, she, definitely capitalized on her looks and she had a very promising career because of her looks. But when you read into a lot of the interviews that she's giving lately and a lot of the Instagram posts, she admits that, you know, I, I just don't know where my youth went. And she said, I, I didn't, I didn't appreciate it. I did not appreciate my youth when I had it. And now she's in her uh, late fifties and she she just has this big, you know, question mark in her mind, like, why didn't I appreciate my youth when I had it? And, you know, then as you go in, you know, in your twenties and you transition into your thirties, you know, you start building off your life experiences and, you know, you might be getting married, starting a family, starting a career, buying a home, you know, you have a lot of life changes typically that occur in your thirties. And, you know, can, that can be, bring on a lot of stress, but, I, I feel like, you know, we don't really appreciate the decade when we're in it. So it would be nice if you could just kind of like really appreciate it. So, yeah, so maybe you're not 20, but, you know, sometimes you wouldn't want to go back in your 20s again. You know, you look back at your 20s and think, gosh, I mean, especially like in your college years, you know, maybe you drank your way through college mm -hmm. and you don't remember a lot of it. Um, or, or maybe, you know, maybe you made a life changing mistake when you were younger and your older self looks back and you wouldn't change anything, but at the same time you can draw off that experience and, and maybe help your children or, uh, another person in your life or maybe an employee, uh, you know, so you can draw off that and you can, you can help others by drawing off that experience. So it's just about appreciating the decade that you're in, because at the end of the day, we, you know, none of us are getting out of this alive. Mm. And yet I just day to day, uh, have you ever, like I, my big joke is I, I absolutely hate going to the deli. I hate, I hate it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just hate it. I, I, if I could get back the time that I have spent standing in the line at the deli, waiting to get it. It just, I, I probably would have 10 years on my life. Yeah. <laughs> so I, it, it's not, you know, nothing against delis, but I just, man, I look at the time that I spent there, you know, waiting in line when there's 10 people ahead of you and it, it's for sliced turkey, you know, yeah. I, I, I realized I've actually modified my life a little bit due to COVID because of it, because I had to, now I realized, you know what, I could have done this differently before. Mm. I mean, this is a stupid example, yeah. but it, it goes back to really what I, what I, what I'm talking about is just at the end of, end of the day, have you ever said, oh boy, I can't get that hour back on my life. Yeah. You just don't want that kind of regret in your life. So, you know, when, you, when you're in the minute to win it, when you're in the decade to enjoy it, I, I do believe your life will infinitely get better because you are recognizing that, you know, that the minute you're born, that hourglass is turned upside down and the right. sand starts going through and there's no way to stop that. We can always make more money. There's one commodity in life that we can never manufacture more of time. Yeah. I know we got to we got to pivot here and boy podcasting Marsha. I'm looking at numbers today before 
you know, we got on the air here and man, oh man, it is, it's exploding. Podcasting's where it's exploding. at. Exploding. Podcasting is where it's at. What can you do at Elevated to get people going? Businesses are really starting to use this format. Yeah, it, it really, it's been said, it is really replacing uh, print media. Print media, as everybody knows, is done, dead, gone, done. Yeah. So podcasting really is replacing print media. It does allow you. What I really love about podcasting, most of you are listening to this program while you are doing something else, whether you're driving in your car, you're cleaning your house, you're working at your desk, you're creating a term paper, whatever it happens to be that you're doing, laying on the beach, whatever it happens to be. Most people will be multitasking while they're listening to this. Podcasting is a great way for you to get your business in front of your intended audience. It's a very specific, detailed message, your message that you're trying to convey to your intended audience. It also creates super fans for your business. It has a direct, uh, passionate message that you're trying to deliver on a weekly basis to your to your clients, customers, or patients. It's a phenomenal way. It's where it's at. It's, it's podcasting in the, in the short, you know, short term will be like not having a website without a podcast. It will be like your business does not have a website. So yes, podcasting is where it's at. What's interesting is you get to tell a story. I mean, I'll use car dealers for an example. You can buy a Audi, a Honda, a BMW, a Mercedes at any one of a number of dealers. In fact, dealers are shipping all over the country now. It doesn't matter. In fact, you made a great point. In the Midwest, if you buy a car in the Midwest, they can ship it east, north, south, and whatever, Mm -hmm. equidistance. The bottom line is you can tell a story and oftentimes features and benefits that you offer that don't come out in just price or an ad on TV or radio. Yeah, you have a 30 or 60 second spot to convey your message. You're not able to put in your, you know, your branding message that you're trying to get out to your uh, customers. Yeah, if you're a specialty doctor, a dentist, a financial services person, auto dealer, resort, uh, fine dining, uh, microbrew, whatever it is that you're trying to convey why you want people to solicit your business over your competitor, podcasting is a great way. It really, it allows you to really directly speak to them with the message that you're trying to convey. Print media just cannot do that. Um, print, as I said earlier, print media is dead anyways, but um, podcasting is really has kind of uh, come to the forefront. As you know, video marketing is something. Um, what we do is we do podcasting for businesses and then we pivot and then we create a video for it um, to uh, further your marketing and advertising investment. So we build out your social media channels with the podcasts, with uh, branded video thumbnails, and really building out your content within the search engines as well. So podcasting is where it's at. If you're not doing podcasting, definitely reach out to us. We would love to explain it a little bit more on how it can benefit your business. How do they get a hold of you via email? Hello at elevatedmediaesq.com. Again, that's hello at elevatedmediaesq.com. Or stop by our Facebook page, Elevating with Marsha, or you can go to Elevated Media ESQ. All right, we come back. It is the weekly uh, two minute drill. You know, in football, you got that two minute warning. Games get decided in the final two minutes. We're going to decide on today's show and leave you with uh, some positivity on the weekend edition. It's Elevating with Marsha Hawkins. It's here on the Sports Byline Broadcast Network, Sirius XM 211. That is the Dan Patrick Show. We look forward to it. On Facebook, check us out. Elevating with Marsha or Elevated Media ESQ. All right. We look forward to it. Don't forget, we're also presented by MyHealth-Quotes.com. Health insurance, life insurance, folks, we know the country right now is in a big-time pivot mode. So when it comes to your health and life insurance, MyHealth-Quotes.com. We come back. Two-minute drill. Elevating with Marsha Hawkins, Sports Byline Broadcast Network. Sirius XM 211. It's the Dan Patrick Show.
Do you have a story to share? Your story. Lifetime Private Autobiography Services can help. We will interview you by video or phone to get your memories in your words using your pictures. Our staff of talented writers will then recreate your story into a beautifully handcrafted book. You'll receive 10 individual copies for friends and family to enjoy for generations to come. Visit privateautobiography.com to schedule a free consultation. Mention this ad for a bonus audio recording from your personal interviews. To get started, visit privateautobiography.com or call 844-921-2802. That's 844-921-2802. Remember and be remembered with this gift of a lifetime. At 28, I had struggled with opiate and meth addiction for 12 years. I did and said things that the sober me never would have done. One day I realized I was not invincible. I was not exempt. And that's when a friend told me about elite rehab placement. They gave me the tools I needed to get sober. And all it took was the one phone call. Elite Rehab can help you start to break your addiction problem and get sober in as little as seven days. And we'll work with your insurance provider to help cover the costs. Plus, we have travel assistance programs to get you here by plane or train. Make this free call right now to learn more. 800-403-5912. 800-403-5912. 800 That's 800-403-5912. Hello and welcome back to the Ronnie Deutsch Tax Program. On the line is Paul from California. Hi, Paul. What's your tax problem today? Hi, Ronnie. Love your show. Listen, I've got a big problem. You see, my paycheck was garnished last week. I'm only getting half the normal amount. To make matters worse, the IRS froze my bank account. Listen, I'm embarrassed and scared. I need some help. Listen, Paul, you don't need to feel embarrassed. You just need some tax help. And the great news is the IRS has some unbelievable programs that can eliminate your tax debt so you don't have to worry about having your paycheck garnished or your bank levied. Doesn't that sound great? It sure does, Ronnie. Then do yourself a huge favor and get a free consultation right now. And tell them the tax lady sent you. 855-715-5721. 855-715-5721. 855-715-5721. That's 855-715-5721. All right, two-minute drill brought to you by MyHealth-Quotes.com. Let's leave them with some positivity. Sports. We're going to talk sports. Yes. I don't know about the NFL. I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's going to happen. I think Major League Baseball's in jeopardy. I don't know. It's it's a, it's going to be a tough call, but I get it. You know, football, close contact. I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, certainly colleges are making contingency plans. I give the Big Ten a lot of credit. Uh, I hope they play. I mean, it's. I hate to say it. I'm not dissing the NBA, NHL, and Major League Baseball, Marsha. The NFL and even college football. It's America's new pastime. It is, but we're going to end on a positive note. Yep. <clears throat> we talked about living in the minute to win it, living in the decade to enjoy it, talking about podcasting, getting your business on a podcast. We would love to help you do that. And yeah, we'll have to see what happens. You know, COVID has definitely thrown a monkey wrench into everything. However, As I always say, there's always opportunity when stuff like this happens. You just have to find the silver lining. And there will be one. I don't know what it is. Obviously, the COVID is a a real virus and a lot of people have, uh, you know, unfortunately passed away from it. So it's a real thing. Um, However, I I do believe that as it pertains to, you know, as, as individuals and as it pertains to people with their business, um, we, we are going to have to find a way, definitely. All right, we look forward to it. The week's ahead every, you know, Friday, Saturday, right through Monday, right here on Sports Byline Broadcast Series XM 211, Elevating with Marsha Hawkins. All right, final word. Yes, yeah, so stop by our Facebook page, Elevating with Marsha. We'd love to have you go in and like our page. Also, Elevated Media ESQ. Uh, Facebook page, we're on Instagram as well, and Twitter, and also 
uh, stop by um, our website, elevatedmediaesq.com. That'll do it for this week. We're back at it on the weekend edition next Saturday. You're listening to the Sports Byline USA Broadcast Network.